No, not really. And completing the lineup. He's thinking about something out there, isn't he? This is Matt. He's 22 and he's a vet. Which war? The war against sick animals, I think. And there he is, referee Bentley. Ah, uh, the greatest WSOD referee ever. Oh, I've seen that look before. Cincinnati, 98. A man died that night. Welcome, noble datesman. I wish you good fortune in my realm of romance. I'm your referee, Bentley. <laughs> Do not cross me. Ladies, <laughs> we shall date them. We shall date them on the beaches. We shall date them on the landing grounds. We shall date them on the fields and in the streets. We shall date them on the hills. We shall always date them. Godspeed and good luck. Date on! Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Ben, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Marisa. Okay. Nice to meet you. You look nice. How tall are you? Um, I think I'm about five foot eleven. I haven't ever measured yourself. Measured. I don't really see the need. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. I'm happy with my height. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a bit, yeah, too skinny as it is, so if I was any taller, I'd just like a bean pole. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm, what kind of man doesn't know his measurements? I can tell you mine in millimeters, inches, or feet. Hmm. Well, staying on a measurement theme, let's go over to the shortest lady in the date zone tonight. Wait, you weren't talking about height, were you? <laughs> Nine out of a cold pool, my friend. Behold! <laughs> This one's for Uncle Sam. Oh. I do keep a diary. That's quite geeky. That's a bit geeky. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a proper in paragraphs diary. I'll just write down like words. Little notes and stuff. That will trigger it. So if I look back at it, I'll remember that day. Right. Perfect question for you now. Right. If you were to write a diary entry on this date, what would you put? Um, Robin seemed a very nice girl. Ah, oh, that's rubbish. I don't give out compliments. Really? One of my things so that, I did well to get one then. Yeah, that was a lot of effort. <laughs> There's a barrier in my mind that just stops me giving any. Probably not the right thing for this, obviously, because you've got to impress me like in like a really short yeah, space I realize of time. That. But yeah, what kind of music are you into? It sounds awful, but I quite like Lady Gaga and Rihanna and Kesha. <laughs> wow! Pretending to like girls' music usually guarantees third base. All right, young man. You like Lady Gaga? Yeah. Some things, man, you got to keep to yourself, all right? Get your ass up, man. I ain't tired of going nowhere yet. Now get the hell out of here, man. Because of Gaga, he's Gaga. Yes, our third boy is out, but Matt's currently in the lead with 26,800 points. He's talking to the lovely, really delightful, smells delicious, Poppy. She had a problem that you were gaga about gaga. Why ga? Um, well, I wouldn't say it's about her in general, mm -hmm. just musically, I am a fan. Right. But I'm not, I don't see any point in lying about that because eventually we get to the stage when all you would hear coming out of my room would be Lady Gaga music, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why lie about it? <laughs> nice bottom. Hi, I'm Matt. Hello. Pleased to meet you. You alright? Yeah, not bad. Yourself? Yeah, good, thanks. I'd like to point out this isn't my shirt. I was given it to wear. I would never normally wear a shirt that's too big and an awful colour. But, um, that's the situation we have. <laughs> Who gave you the shirt? Um, well, cos the one I turned up with would have given people epileptic fits. <laughs> so, um, I couldn't wear it. Wow, this date could be the game changer right now. Hot ice is thawing. She's ever. dripping, Jim Bob. Mm, it's James, and not dripping, thawing. Also, still dating very well is Matt. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? A camel. Why would you be a camel? I like. I don't really drink a lot, so I'd have phases of where I'd drunk loads and stored it, and then I could just carry on with my day. Right. Fair enough. What would you say? 
I'd be an elephant, I think. I was going to say elephant. Mm. Why would you be an elephant? Nothing really attacks you. You don't have to chase anything. You just find vegetation and eat it. It'd be quite relaxed. Why does I think. anything attack you? Because you're too big. Would you believe it? I think he's thrown her. He's taken her way off piste. Epileptic shirts and camels. It's hypnotic. Hi, gentlemen. We've come to the end as what can only be described as a classic dating period. And I gotta say, at the end of the day, it's been a pleasure watching you work. The dating is a great spectacle, like ballet or happy hour at Hooters. But there can only be one winner. I would love to give you all medals, but if I did that, man, that would make this sport lame and sissy, like soccer. So my one winner tonight is... Give it up for Ben, man. That's classic stuff, man. Fantastic. And as we all expected, the confirmation there that Ben is tonight's winner with 55,800 points. That should see him safely into the final. Yeah!